Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's aptly named Tip of the Week. Have you ever had a surface in a model in Pro Engineer or Creo Parametric where you've got to have a surface have two different colors? Now sometimes people will make a flat surface on top of the other surface, color it a different color, but you wind up with this terrible aliasing effect. Well there's a way to get around that and I'll show you how that works right now. This piece is an engine cover from a small two cycle engine. This large opening you see at the bottom is for the exhaust and let's say we wanted to not paint right up to the edge of that hole because of the, the effects the heat would have on the paint. Well I've got a sketch here that defines what's inside and outside of the painted area that I'm going to project onto that surface. I can do that under the editing section with the project command. Pick this surface to project it on. I'm going to accept that. And now we've got this nice area on that surface that really tells us what should be painted and what shouldn't. Well, how do I make the two colors on the model? I'd like to split this surface right here, but really it's, it's just a reflection of the solid. I can't do surface operations. And if I make another surface on top of this, I'll wind up with the same problem we had before with aliasing like here. And also, if you take a look at this model, that's got compound curvature. Not going to be fun to recreate that. There's a fairly simple workaround for this. First thing I've got to do is hide the surface of this solid. I can do that under the View tab. I can go to Appearances. Now I've created a 100% transparent appearance. I pick that, pick that surface, say OK. Doesn't look like it did much until we zoom in. Now you can see you actually can't see that surface anymore. It's still a solid. I haven't altered the model. I've just told uh, Creo Parametric, Pro-E, to not display that. Now we've got to replace that surface with something we can split into two pieces. If I pick this surface here, the solid's still there, I can still pick that. Go to the Model tab. I say Copy. Paste becomes active. I hit Paste. Makes a surface copy, identical to what I just hit. So let's accept that. The nice thing about this now is it's a surface feature that I can split into two pieces. So if I grab this and I hit the trim command, the system's going to say, well, terrific, what do you want to trim around? I want to trim using that curve I just projected. Now on screen, I've got this arrow that says both ways. It says you want to keep inside that border or outside. Well, that doesn't help me. I want to keep both. But if I go to this flip side tool in the icon, I get a third option that says you can keep both. You can have your cake and eat it too. So let's accept that. Now that I've used that projected curve to split this surface, I'm going to hide that. Now what's nice about this is you notice when I highlight over the model, I've got two different surfaces here. So I'm going to go back to my appearances. And I'm going to instead grab, say, the natural aluminum color. We would expect to see this if it was not painted. I can pick that surface I just split off. And for neatness sake, let's grab the rest of the opening. And we'll accept that. Now you can see we've got one surface on a model with no lines, no aliasing, two different colors. Nice way to make that happen. If you have any questions about this or anything else, call your account manager at EAC or contact any one of us technical managers or anyone else at the company. Thanks and have a great day.